Hello and welcome to this video walkthrough from Moat. My name is Greg Kulwick, I'm an educational advocate with Moat, and what we're going to do in this quick video is demonstrate how we can use Google Sheets as a tool for students to conduct audio research. So as you can see here, I have a Google Sheet. It's a pretty straightforward setup. In the first column, that's where students will place the link to their web-based research. In column B, they can put a title, column C, a short description, Column D, they may add notes on where it fits in their bigger research process. In their final product, might it be in the introduction? Might they use this as an argument in the body of their paper? And might it be an interesting point to include in their conclusion? But the interesting approach here we have is in column E, where students will add an audio reflection using the moat pad. And then when they're done, they will paste a link so they can have an archive of what they were thinking about that bit of research directly in the place where they're logging everything. So let's get started. As you can see here, I have an article from NPR about the Boston Massacre that I might be using as a student in my history class. Now the first thing I'm going to do is copy the link, head back to my research, and paste that link, and then we'll just do some text wrapping. So now I'm also going to grab the title just to stay really organized when I'm conducting my research. Again, we'll do a little text wrap. There we go. Now the short description, I'll just drop something very quickly. Where does it fit? Maybe I'm going to use this in the introduction. Now this is where I think we can really add some value with Moat and with audio to the student research process. So what we'll do is head back to the research that we found, this web-based content, Obviously, the student would review it, read everything, make sure they have a really clear perspective on how they're going to use it. And then in our Chrome browser, we're going to tap on the Moat Chrome extension. And then we'll tap on Moat to begin recording. So I came across this really interesting article about how there's this legacy and legend of the Boston Massacre. And there were two interesting points in the article that I absolutely need to use. Now here's what I'm thinking about where it might fit. Here's maybe what I want to make sure that I do when I come back and revisit this article in the future when I'm actually getting into my writing process. And generally, here's the value of the piece and how it's going to be um, a really helpful addition to my research process and to my final product. All right, so there we are. We're done recording. Now what I'm going to do is simply copy the link here to this most recent moat, head back to my research, and paste that in. Now, it's the beauty of this is notice here on a Google Sheet, that link to the moat file will automatically pop up as an embedded audio card that we can play back. The teacher can use this as a capture of the student process and evidence of their reflection and their thinking and their high quality research. But additionally, the student could use this in maybe a week or two when they return back to their research. They notice this piece and think, okay, what was I thinking when I originally came across this and where was my perspective on this piece? So that's the process. Using audio with Moat as an audio research process to provide context for the teacher on the process that the student is engaged in and provide an opportunity for students to thoroughly reflect on their research using audio. Thanks for watching this quick video walkthrough from Moat. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next video.